Welcome to Science Never Stops. I'm your host, Joseph Vick, here at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. And behind me happens to be NASA's current orbiting outpost, the International Space Station. Built with many modular pieces that are habitats for astronauts to sleep, laboratories for them to do their work, and connecting node pieces interspersed and moved about and built over several years. It happens to be soon to celebrate its 20th birthday in orbit. Also note it is solar paneled, as you can see the solar arrays on either side of the station providing it power with the power of the light of the sun. The astronauts are doing current work inside, various work for biological, medical, chemical, engineering to make our life here on Earth that much better. From the work in space makes our work on Earth that much better and the quality of life better because of the technology trickling down from space above to Earth below. Now currently there is an app where you can spot the station, where you can go and you can Google NASA spot the station and you can find where the station is as it orbits the Earth. And you can go outside your home, look up in the night sky and you can see it zip across the night sky and you can wave to the astronauts as they are currently on board doing their work. It is a space station that's roughly the size of a football field in length and it weighs about a million pounds. So it's a very hefty space station doing a lot of hefty work and has been doing it for about two decades. So you can also look up all the astronauts on board currently doing work in the past experiments in the history of the station at nasa.gov. So remember, keep on exploring, keep on adventuring, and remember, science never stops, not even on the International Space Station.